y'all, it is Nikki. Welcome back to the channel. Quick update on the things that I've been up to over the past week or so. Priority number one has been getting part two of my fantasy project polished, ready to send off to beta readers hopefully next week. They have been working through part one for the last little bit and part two I think is pretty much ready to send out so that is very exciting but while I'm not doing that I've also been trying to work on finishing my rewrites and polishing and revising of part three so that by the time they're finished part two I will have that ready well in advance to send out to them. The goal is to be so ahead of the curve with part three that I can spend the next like four months or so working on part four, which is the part that actually needs the most work, the most overhauling, the most like actual developmental changes. Lord willing, four months should be plenty of time for that. Part three is taking me a little bit longer because I have had to do some more rewrites with this one and it is like just a longer document. Parts one and two were both under 200 pages. Part one was I think like 180, part two is like 125. Part three is actually over 200, so it's taking me a little longer. But I've discovered a new tool that has made final polishing and revising so much more enjoyable, and that is reading out loud. Who knew? I used to hear people say that all the time, like you should read your stuff out loud, but I never really took it seriously. Like, okay, but why when I can just read it faster in my head? But it actually does make a difference. I've been doing that a lot with my like final read through of part two. It helps me to catch things. It helps me to catch moments where like the rhythm is off in the writing, or if there are just too many words in the writing, that is more apparent when I'm reading out loud than when I'm reading in my head. Plus it's kind of fun because you get to like dramatize it a bit and pretend that you're like recording an audiobook or something. It's fun. I like it. But while I'm not doing that, working on book one of this fantasy project, I have actually had some extra brain space available to start thinking about book two. Not part two, but book two, which if you know me, you know that that is like a far off hypothetical thing that has just been in like the works for the past who knows how long, but has never really officially been done. I have a couple drafts of a book two. My most recent one was probably like three years ago that I finished it and basically I just have to can the whole thing. There will be carryover in plot but I think that there are a lot of things that will not carry over and right now I'm just trying to work through the things which actually are essential to the plot and still are and the things I've just been hanging on to for like too long and I need to just can. I have a lot of exciting new ideas for this book too which I'm excited to flush out and add to what I already sort of imagined for this story but I've also run into some problems and the key problem that I ran into last time too is the issue of like space and time and progress. My problem with the last draft and my original sort of conception of this story is that it all takes place in sort of one spot, one area, a few different little settings in this area, and I can't really let my characters ever get too far from that area within the book because they always need to be able to come back quickly to this one point. So all in all, it felt like they're just stuck, and in the overarching quest to get from A to B in the series, it feels like this is just sort of a sidebar where they get sidetracked and stuck in one spot and there's no progress made toward that overarching goal which I now understand is a big problem. There needs to be a sense of progress like we're advancing something, we're accomplishing something. So some ways that I've been combating this are one a magical portal transportation system which has opened up just a whole new world of possibilities for me because before the concern was that I could never let them get too far, like spatially, because I needed to bring them back in time to accomplish certain things. So within my timeline, I had to sort of restrict the space that they could move around in. But now that I have a magical transportation system, they can get as far as they want before I have to pull them back via portal, which allows me to actually give them a sense of forward movement, allow them to sort of spread out, continue their quest, move in a certain direction before they get pulled back to address the things that are going on over here in this space. I also drew a map. A beautiful one, as you can see. It's a disaster and I did it in class, so I couldn't, you know, go full out artist or it might be a little bit conspicuous. But what I was trying to do was to pin down all the possible settings that I have within this space because I was feeling that sense of like, oh my goodness, they're stuck in this one spot. It's going to get boring. We're going to get sick of this location. How can I make it interesting? Like how many different settings can I have within this one setting? And as I started mapping them out, like, okay, they're here, then they're over here, then they're over here, I realized that there are a few that I can kind of amalgamate into one setting. And that's when I started thinking like, okay, maybe I don't need to stay in this bubble. Maybe I can let them get a little bit further. Maybe we can sort of expand this. And making the map actually helped me 
a fair amount to figure out where the characters need to be at a given time and where the bulk of the story is going to take place. So that's been exciting. I know that I won't be able to hardcore plot book two for a while yet just because my priority is book one at this point, but it has been nice to give it some thought to do a little bit of prep for what I know needs to go down so that hopefully by the time I do get there, I feel a little bit more ready to launch into like full out outlining. So that's what I've been up to. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to like and subscribe and comment below with what awesome writing stuff you have been up to this week. And as always, do not forget to spend some time in the clouds today. Hey!